Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a captive portal using the guest hotspot in Unify 6.2.23. This should be the same in any 6.x controller. I'm going to show you how to do the standard captive portal and then I'll show you how to do the Facebook Wi Fi. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www dot mac telecom networks dot com you'd find us on instagram at mac telecom networks and if you'd like to support the channel we have an amazon store and i'll put a link in the description below so typically i don't install too many cap to portals or facebook wi-fi anymore but the most common place i see it is in the hoteling business the first step we need to do we need to create a network for this guest hotspot so we'll want to click on our networks and then we're going to add a new network i'm going to call this network guest portal my router is going to be my UDM Pro, and then we're going to go to the advanced settings. Under advanced settings, we're going to take off auto scale network, and then we're going to assign it a gateway and IP. So it has 192.168.2.1. We're going to switch that to 225.1, and we're going to want to scroll up, and I'm going to give it a VLAN ID of 225. On the DHCP range, we're going to auto configure, and then we're going to add network. Now we can see the guest portal network has been created. We need to go back to Wi-Fi and then add new guest hotspot. Here we're gonna enable the hotspot and I'll call it guest portal. For the guest portal toggle switch, we're gonna turn it on and then we're gonna choose our authentication type. Under the authentication type, there's a few different methods. We could do Facebook Wi-Fi, external portal server, Facebook. We could do password, we could do voucher, WeChat and payments as well as radius. For this part, we're gonna do it with password and the next part we'll do it with Facebook Wi-Fi. Now we see password, we need to click the down arrow and then create a password for the guest portal. So I'm just gonna put it test1234. And then we can take a look at our portal design. We could upload your own background image and you could do a custom logo. I'm just gonna upload a blue background. And now we can see this is what's gonna show up when the guests connect to this portal. It will say unify, and then we'll have to put in our password. We could also enable a term of service, and this is what's gonna be displayed. I'll just say hello from Mac Telecom, and then I'm gonna press apply. And that's pretty much it. So we see that our guest portal is created under our guest hotspot. Now, if we connect to it, it's gonna redirect us to the guest portal. So let's jump onto that Wi-Fi network. Okay, right now we could see that I'm connected to Mac Telecom internet Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go and we're gonna find the guest portal and we can see guest portal and we're gonna press connect. Now it redirected us to our guest portal page and we need to put in, I accept that was the terms of use. So if we click that, it will say hello from Mac Telecom and then we need to do our guest access. So this will be the password of test one, two, three, four and then press connect. It redirected us to msn.com, but we do have internet access and I could try to ping google.ca and the pings are going through. So that's how we set up our guest portal. Now let's connect to Facebook Wi-Fi. Now we're gonna create the Facebook Wi-Fi and we could have our users authenticate by logging in and checking in with their Facebook account, or they could skip the line and just enter a password or click a link to get Wi-Fi access. So let's add new guest hotspot. We're gonna enable this hotspot and I'm gonna call it Facebook. We're gonna activate the guest portal and then we're gonna select the authentication type as Facebook Wi-Fi. If we click on the down arrow, I'm just gonna give it a gateway name of the gateway of the guest portal that we created. So 192.168.225.1 and then we could click on advanced. Under advanced, we could choose which radios we want this to broadcast on as well as which APs we want it to broadcast on. We could give it a session expiration, so we could give it 24 hours or eight hours or up to seven days, or we could make a custom time. We could also have a different landing page. I'm just gonna redirect to the original URL. If we want, we could put this on a Wi-Fi scheduler so that people could only get Wi-Fi during our business hours. And then I'm gonna press apply changes. Now we have to go back into the guest hotspot and then click the down arrow on the Facebook Wi-Fi, And then we need to configure this on Facebook. You need to have a business page on Facebook to be able to do this. Also, if you're not seeing this configure on Facebook, you wanna go back to classic settings, hit the new user interface, press deactivate. We wanna go over to our settings wheel and then go to guest portal. 
Once we click on this, we could go back to the new user interface and this gateway configuration should show up for you. I think it's a bug in the new UI that sometimes it doesn't display the configure on Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on the configure on Facebook and we could see that our Facebook Wi-Fi settings, here's our name that we put in. You could put in an actual name, I just put in the gateway and then we could connect. Here you need to select your business Facebook page and then press save. Now we have a couple of different settings. We could skip check-in, so we could click on the settings button, so we could have a link to skip check-in, or we could use a Wi-Fi code. I'll specify a Wi-Fi name as hello world, and then press save. We also have a session length. So right now we're giving them two hours, but we could give them 30 minutes or up to 12 hours if we would like. I'll leave it at two hours and press save. Now the Facebook Wi-Fi has been created, let's try to connect to it. So I'll go down to my Wi-Fi and we'll select Facebook Wi-Fi. Here we'll press connect. And now it's bringing us our authentication. So check in at Mac Telecom Networks for free Wi-Fi. To connect, check in and create a post or skip check-in. So we could either press continue and we'd have to log into our Facebook page to get the free Wi-Fi or we could enter the Wi-Fi code. The Wi-Fi code I gave it was hello world, and then we could press submit. And now we have our free Wi-Fi with the Facebook Wi-Fi logon. So that's pretty cool. I may do an updated video of the voucher system if people are interested in that. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.